Well, it's about time that I do a video on this tool vest. I wear it in almost all my videos and I get questions almost daily. A link to where you can get this tool vest will be in the description below. Uh, it's on Amazon and if Amazon runs out of stock, they also sell the exact same one on the Home Depot website, website only, uh, for the exact same price. This is the Stanley Fat Max tool vest. I saw another YouTuber make his own leather tool vest and it looked great. Uh, I just didn't have the patience to do the leather work to build one. Um, I looked another one up made by Atlas and I believe it was $200 or more which I think is ridiculous. So I was scouring the internet for an affordable tool vest and I came across this one and it had mixed reviews in the Amazon review section. So I said, well, um, I'll just take a chance and I'll modify it. I can sew, I can put some Velcro on it or a strap if I need to, but I haven't had to modify it at all. I will get into the one problem that it does have and the modification that I will make sometime in the future. I'm just gonna go through each pocket and kind of give you a close up here. And this is just as I wore it today. So you can see how durable it is. I've got these things are filled with screws, nails. Um, but the first big pouch is where my tape measure goes. And also in this pouch, I've got a nine volt battery, a masonry drill bit, a whole bunch of screws, a washer. I mean, more screws. Uh, a razor blade. It's gonna be my time to clean this thing out too. Now these front front pockets here, I don't keep much in them, but they also have, man, lots of screws, uh, some wire nuts. The point I'm trying to make here is that up close here, there's still there's no holes at all in this. this is kind of messy. So the durability is there. And it's been over a year. I got this last October. No holes in there at all. Next is a spot for business cards. I don't really use that. Up here is a spot for your cell phone. This is the only thing that falls out. I've got a pretty large cell phone with a large case. This is an old Note 2. And this is the only thing that, that has ever fallen out on me. But still haven't cracked my case. Pen. Uh, pencil. Uh, down here, <clears throat> hopefully I'm in frame. Uh, I got Sharpie. You never have too many things to write with. Uh, what is this? I got, uh, this is kind of a go-to uh, golden oak to, for touching up scratches on stained grade wood or cabinets. And another pen. I could probably thin down my pen collection. Um, piece of wood. That's firewood. I don't use this front pocket yet um, and I also don't use this other front pocket the thing the reason is I want to keep it light and balanced um, this guy here is perfect for this tool vest tiny little uh, cat's paw pry bar I use this all the time next one is a Home Depot scraper it's for getting out caulk or anything else it's a little bit oversized as far as it's it's pretty heavy duty now these are where I keep the screwdrivers. I use, I got a Phillips head, a flat head, and I need to get you a measurement because some people were saying in the reviews on Amazon that their tools were falling out. I don't have that problem ever. And I even have a little bit of extra room in here. You have to make sure that, I guess this is just a standard screwdriver. I get this for uh, 98 cents at Home Depot. <clears throat> they fit in there. And they are retained perfectly in these little screwdriver pouches. Next one is my utility knife. This is a decent one. I've had it forever. Uh, actually, I've got two or three of them of the same kind. And this is also a Stanley. Um, your blades store down there. In fact, there's a, a spare right there. There's probably better ones out there, but... Um, this one has worked great for me for many years, uh, uh, using it daily. Again, 
uh, light chafing on the uh, the pocket here. The hammer. This is where I would change things. I don't know if I'm looking at my butt. This uh, this leather thing here makes this. You have to use two hands to get your hammer out. Um, there's been times when I'm trying to get this thing out with one hand, and it feels like I'm in a straight jacket. Just, just trying to get this thing out when I'm holding something. Uh, so this here is probably going to get modified. Let me be right back. This is probably too thick of a stainless round bar, but I'm going to use some other round bar and make a metal loop that attaches to the same spot so that I can get this hammer in and out without it catching. Another thing to note about tool vests is that you, you don't want to load them up real heavy. Um, I have a actual tool belt with suspenders. It thing weighs a, a ton and I'll put that on just for my electrical work. But for general carpentry, this is as heavy as I really can go or else I'll start to feel it in my back, the middle of my back, because I'm wearing too, too much weight on my my shoulders uh, if you know much about backpacking um, you'll know that most of the weight is on the lap belt the belt that goes around your 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 waist you're supposed to carry the weight on your belt I keep this light and also when I don't have the hammer in I can feel feel the weight on the front and it's uncomfortable so if I'm gonna wear this I have to put the hammer in. Even if I'm not going to hammer anything all day, I have to put this hammer in in order to balance it and have it evenly sit on my chest or else it's constantly weighing down in the front. Another thing is it does zip up, but I never, I've never zipped it up. Um, and that may help in keeping the, uh, the tools inside their pouches. I guess uh, th these also have these Velcro strips here, and I'm not sure where they would go. <clears throat> Maybe onto your own belt. But anyways, uh, let me slide you back here. When when I bend over, these pockets they 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 go out so that things don't uh, you know fall out of them. And like I said, these uh, screwdrivers and the knife stay in there. The only thing this doesn't really have room for is a speed square and when I do carry it I do I put it in this pocket that with the uh, tape measure it doesn't stay in there very well but I don't carry it on me all the time um, that would be the only tool that I would add to this that would be worth its weight um, I may made make a modification to that uh, to this somehow to be able to carry a speed square if you have any questions Leave them in the comment section, give this video a thumbs up, and remember the link to this tool vest on Amazon is in the description.